Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Ann. Thank you so much for just stopping by for just a few minutes today. So, I have an unboxing today. Yes, I know, I dreaded an unboxing. So, there's a little story behind it though that I wanted to share. Uh, it, I'll, my husband and I will be married for 22 years in a couple weeks. So, for our anniversary, I told him I, what I wanted. I wanted a bag, a Louis Vuitton bag. Um, but, um, bless his heart, sometimes, you know, you send ideas and suggestions and sometimes they just don't pan out. So, what better way to ensure that this gift than to go to the Louis Vuitton store together, which is a risk, I know. Um, there are pros and cons to that. So, our nearest Louis Vuitton store is three hours away. It's in New Orleans. We're in the Panhandle of Florida. So, we got up really, really early this morning. We drove to Louis Vuitton. And as we're driving, he said, this is the plan. You have about an under, well, you have under an hour to spend at the store, and then we're going to have brunch. So the reason why we were on such a, a tight timeline is because we have five dogs. Yes, five dogs, and we wanted to be home in time to feed them and let them out and all that good stuff. So that's for another video, five dogs. So um, I had earlier in the week asked, um, a Facebook group page for Louis Vuitton. Um, I had posted for a recommendation for an essay and I got one. So thank you, Brittany, for suggesting um, this essay. She's fabulous. Her name is Judy. And this, the Louis Vuitton store is in the Saks store in New Orleans. And it is gorgeous, the Saks Fifth Avenue there. So my husband knew um, knows the price points because I had sent him some suggested bags uh, based on how much it cost. Though I knew that there would be some issues and oh my goodness was there drama. Oh, I'll tell you about it as I'm unboxing. So anyway, um, earlier in the week also I had texted this sweet little essay to say these are the bags I'm interested in and she very quickly responded and said they didn't have those, they were all crossbodies some of the newer ones, um, and that I also was interested in a speedy, uh, twenty, excuse me, a speedy 30 and 35, which I'm not a speedy girl, so I don't know why, but I've been watching all these videos on YouTube and thinking, man, I think maybe I need a speedy, and I need to give it a chance. So anyway, going over there, uh, I also brought with me a Keep All 60 bandolier that needed to be repaired. The straps were cracked, and I wanted to see if that was a possibility. So Judy took care of that as well, and as much as I thought it was going to. So I'm excited about that, and I will do a video when I get that bag back and talk about what they did. So very, very, I'm almost excited about that as I am about this bag. So while I was there, I also looked at the Epi Noir Speedy 25 Bandolier, and oh my gosh, I really wanted that bag, but I wasn't, I didn't want to be greedy. I wanted to be thankful and I wanted to appreciate that my husband was willing, willing to buy another bag because seeing the price tag on that Epi Noir, he just would have absolutely lost it. We thought there was drama with this one and believe me, I think that drama was all for show. I just don't think, I think that was, yeah, I don't think he meant it, but anyway, there were other couples in there because it was Jazz Fest weekend in New Orleans, and their husbands or their partners were being just as dramatic as my husband, and, and they were all feeding off of each other. Oh, goodness, but if I had a Speedy, the Epi Noir, Speedy 25, he, I would have needed smelling salts to pick him up off the floor, and I just did not want to go there. So hopefully I'll be making that purchase soon in the next couple months. But anyway, here it is. So let's talk about this cutie little uh, bag. I'm very excited over it, very. So um, the beautiful ribbon, got the receipt, and the card of the darling SA, Judy. So let's just get right to it. You probably already guessed what it is. Love this box, dust bag. And it almost looks like a steering wheel, doesn't it? It is the Speedy 30 in the Damier Bin. Gorgeous bandolier with a beautiful red interior. Is I love this bag. I don't know why I was so hesitant to um, get a Speedy because I guess I'm just, 
I'm a tote girl, I'm a hobo girl, I'm a big bag girl. So I guess that was the hesitation, not thinking that I would um, like this. but And I love this bag in this print. I'm a mono girl. I only have one bag in the Damier bin. So I'm happy. I love that the strap is really long. I'm 5'9". And um, this fits perfectly, and I didn't think it would. I was really concerned about it. Um, but I can do uh, over the shoulder. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? Or crossbody. And I love the fact that I can do crossbody on this bag. And I think it fits perfectly. I think it hits me at a good level. Uh, it probably could, could be a little bit lower, but that's okay. Um, and there are a couple bandoliers that I fell in love with at the store. Some really cool pattern, beautiful bandoliers that I'm going to look into. Um, with this bag too. So anyway, here's the bag. It's gorgeous. It's the lock and it has um, the keys. And I'm, I'm sure you all know that, that every lock is numbered and it has its own key. So if you lose the key, the only thing you can do is get it cut off. Um, so that was good to know. Did not know that. Um, the po inside pocket, there is one that looks like this. It is small, you can't fit much in there. But that's okay because I am getting a purse organizer for this bag. I like a structured bag. I'm not in, don't really care for the slouch. Don't want any sag. So the, it'll help with the creases and give it some more structure, but gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I know some of the cons, um, carrying it on the crook of your arm can sometimes be a little awkward because the strap space between the strap and the, and the top of the, the bag, there's not a, it's not a big opening, but for me it doesn't matter because I'm always going to wear the strap or I'll carry it by the, by the handle. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag and I'm thrilled. I am so lucky to have it in, in my collection and um, yeah, I plan on getting um, a lot of use out of this bag. If you're on the fence at all, if you've never thought about getting a Speedy, you need to give it a second look. I just felt like part of me, uh, to, to round out my collection, I needed to have a Speedy, but also who cares? you need to get what you love and what you feel comfortable in, which I thought this would this bag would not be a part of mine until I really opened my mind and went in and um, gave it a chance. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. And my husband's still standing, by the way. Um, he was happy to do it for me, he did say. So a lot of that drama and Louis Vuitton was for the audience. So anyway, have a great rest of the day. If you like this video, if you please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear um, what what size Speedies you all have. And um, if any of you have the Epi Noir Speedy 35, excuse me, Speedy 25 Bandolier, because that is going to be my next bag, I hope. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.